Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm back with another 5 ways to fill your sketchbook video. You'd think that after 2 years I'd run out of ideas, but surprisingly, here we are. This is the summer edition, so all the ideas in this video will kind of go along with that theme. And just real quick, before we get started, I made new merch, I have two new designs, the link's in the description, and yeah, with all that being said, let's just get into the video. The first idea that I have for you guys is to design a bathing suit. I based this drawing off of an ad. I really like the shape of the top in this picture. Does anyone else, like maybe it's just me, but I haven't bought a new bathing suit in like five years. Um, and the thing is, like I have a pool and I go swimming like a lot, um, but apparently I've just been too lazy to buy a new one. So yeah, I really like the cut of this top because it's basically a sports bra so you know you don't gotta worry about anything shifting, if you know what I mean. And the girl in the reference photo was pretty tan, so I tried to pick out markers that matched her skin tone. And clearly, I just need more practice drawing people in general because it did not work out so good. I attempted to blend everything together with the lightest marker, but it still wasn't looking blended enough for me. So I took a break for a second and colored in the sunglasses and the hair. Then I remembered that using colored pencils over markers can kind of help you blend out the skin tone. That helped blend it, but now she didn't really look tan. Um, so finally, I figured out that if I went over everything super lightly with orange and blended it with a little bit of yellow, I could salvage it a little bit. It's still not great. Honestly, I kind of suck at coloring. So if you're good at it, please leave me some tips down below. I also used colored pencils to add more detail to the hair and sunglasses. I colored the bathing suit black, which don't worry, there's gonna be a design on it. I just wanted to finish up all the marker work first. I used my Ohuhu markers again to make a simple beach theme background. Then I brought out my Posca pens. I used white to add some more detail to the water, then started decorating the bathing suit. I've been super into these floral patterns lately. I picked out a fabric to make masks with at Joanne the other day, and my mom, she was making fun of me because she said that it looked like my grandma, which, I mean, she's not wrong, but like, my grandma is a fashion icon, like, let's be real. So I used my Posca pens to cover the bathing suit with white daisies. And here's how the finished page turned out. Let me know in the comments if you like swimming at the beach or at the pool better. Personally, I like the beach a lot better, but I live in Pennsylvania and there really aren't that many beaches around here. The second idea that I have for you guys is to draw an ice cream flavor as a person. This is kind of similar to an idea from one of my first sketchbook videos, which was just to draw a food as a person. I did pick ice cream for that. Um, yeah, I'd like to think that I've improved a little bit since then, I don't know. The ice cream flavor that I chose was mint chocolate chip. I like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but honestly it's not my like absolute favorite, although it was always my favorite thing to get from Rita's, except they closed the one that was near my house, so like rip, but my favorite is either cookies and cream or graham slam, but this one has more colors so I thought it would be more fun to draw. I colored the drawing like I usually do, with a layer of marker first and colored pencil on top. For her outfit, the top I kind of just drew but the skirt was based off of the Kenzo skirt from Brandy Melville. They have a similar skirt that I saw at Target, and I kind of wanted to get that one, but I never wear skirts anymore, so I didn't, which is really weird because when I was in like kindergarten, I would only wear skirts. I had a girl come up to me a few years ago and she was like, oh my gosh, I remember you. You were the one from kindergarten that would always wear the purple dresses. And I did not remember this girl at all. You know, obviously it was one of those situations you kind of have to pretend that you remember who they are, but not a clue. And I thought it was just so weird that somebody remembered that because I don't even remember that. I mean, I know it happened because my mom, she'll always like tell me stories about, oh yeah, you were such a pain to like buy clothes for and this and that. But you know, there's nothing wrong with knowing what you like. So I don't know what the point of that story was. But anyways, this skirt is green because obviously mint chocolate chip ice cream. I put little black dots on it to be like the chocolate chips. And her hair, I also made that kind of a blackish brown to represent the chocolate as well. This one wasn't as, you know, obvious as my last ice cream girl drawing, but I think that you can kind of still tell what I was going for. And for the background, I painted two mint green circles behind her and painted black around that. Then I went back in with my Posca pens and added more circles to the background. And here's how the finished page turned out. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Idea number three is to take a picture of the sunset and paint it. We've actually been having a lot of really pretty sunsets here lately. Once I started getting more into painting, especially painting like clouds and stuff, I started noticing what the sky looked like a lot more. I think it would be cool if you did this every day for like a week. 
You wouldn't have to paint the whole page, you could just do little thumbnail paintings to see how the sky changes depending on the day, the weather, the time of year, and all that fun stuff. You could also try doing this for the sunrise, but let's be real, I could not do that. If I see the sunrise anytime soon, it'll be because I just didn't sleep the night before. Something else you could do is take your sketchbook with you on like a hike or another nature activity and paint or draw what you see. I've always wanted to be the kind of person that does that, but I am not. The logistics just have never really worked out. So I usually just take a picture of things to reference later. I have a friend who takes her sketchbook with her everywhere and I think it's so impressive the things that she does, like she'll be on the train and just drawing the person across from her and I've always thought that that was like so cool and you know, I'm not that kind of person. For one thing, I'd have to remember to bring the sketchbook and if I did remember to bring it, I'd probably forget that I had it with me. There's a question for you, are you the kind of person that takes your sketchbook with you everywhere or do you just kind of keep it at home? This was just me kind of messing around. I am clearly no Bob Ross. These trees that I put at the bottom are so bad. This was the last thing that I actually filmed for this video and I was getting kind of done at this point. But overall, I mean, it kind of looks like it, right? The next idea is to draw your favorite thing to do during the summer, either now or from when you were younger. When I was younger, my favorite thing to do during the summer was to ride bikes. We used to go on family vacations to the beach and my dad and I would always get up really early and we would rent bikes and ride them down the boardwalk. I also had a friend that in middle school I would spend pretty much every single day during the summer at their house and we just rode our bikes everywhere. It was so much fun. So yeah, that's my favorite summer activity. It's kind of lame, but we all know that I'm not the most exciting person. It is something that I still like doing though, except now, you know, I'm an adult, I have actual responsibilities. So I have this little desk bike that I can use while I'm on my computer editing or whatever. I really messed up the lips on this one. I kept trying to fix it, but I just kind of kept making it worse. I ended up scraping off what I could and filling in the mouth more with a white gel pen. I don't think that I've ever really drawn a bike and it definitely shows. I forgot like three pieces on it, but we're just gonna ignore that. And I debated on what I wanted to do for the background, but I ended up going with the beach theme again, just because I was on a roll, I already had the markers out, and it's really easy. I did the background with Ohuhu markers again, but this time I did the clouds with paint and added texture to the sand with colored pencils. And here's how the finished page turned out. This was one of those situations where I just kind of had to keep messing with it and hope for the best. I think it turned out pretty well other than the mouth though. The last idea that I have for you guys in this video is to draw a pair of sunglasses with a summer scene in the lenses. The sunglasses could be on a person's face or they could kind of just be laying there like mine are. You could get super creative with this. You could do different shapes for the glasses, and you could do any scene that you want. I kept the frames of my glasses fairly simple and added most of the details to the lenses. I saw a video on TikTok that showed how to paint water, and I thought it would be cool to try this technique. The video was from an account called Artist Jessica Stick Smith. Definitely check her out. Waves like this are her specialty, and she paints all sorts of amazing landscapes. My waves didn't turn out exactly like hers, but that was at least partly because I was trying to do it in kind of a small area. Also, I've never painted waves before, so that probably had something to do with it. I think you can still tell what I was going for though, so it's all good. Of course, I couldn't just do the waves, so I painted a little dolphin in the right lens. There's not really much to say about this, um, it's a dolphin. I thought it kind of blended into the water a little too much, so I outlined him with a light blue to help him stand out. I didn't really have a plan for the rest of the page at first, but after coloring all those beach scenes, I figured having them sitting in the sand would be appropriate. Again, I did the sand the same way as before, and added seashells to make the composition a little more interesting. Whenever I go to the beach, I always love collecting shells, but I never really do anything with them. When I'm there, I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make these into like necklaces and I'm gonna paint them. Uh, liter I literally never do. So if anyone has any ideas for like what you can do with seashells, with sea yeah, I can't say that word, sea seashells, okay, definitely let me know. That's like the word crayon, apparently like I say that wrong, I got a lot of comments in my last video that were like, I don't know, apparently I say crayon wrong. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to fix that, I don't know how else you're supposed to say it, Um, at least with like whenever I used to say Mod Podge. I realized that it was actually Mod Podge so I could fix it, but I don't know how I'm supposed to fix how I say crayon. But anyways, I colored this part with my Ohuhu markers and added the final touches with a white gel pen. And here's how the finished page turned out. 
This video was a lot of fun. I got to draw a ton of things that I wouldn't normally draw. Let me know which page was your favorite. I think mine was the swimsuit page. So that was everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys later. Bye.